Hi, I'm Don. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you the painting of the beard and the skin of this dwarf with staff from Spellcrow. Also, we're going to talk about contrast. No, no, not contrast paints. Those are good paints. I've tried them. A client sent me a few, a handful, but I cannot use them and I choose not to use them because hashtag always Vallejo. Also, a ton of thanks to Spellcrow for sponsoring this awesome resin miniature. We mainly talk about contrast in colors. Perfect example is this art toy painted by my daughter Sam Suratos. She kind of flip flop between warm and cool colors. Oh, if you're into Prismacolor colored pencil drawings, you should follow my daughter at Instagram. So when we say contrast, we immediately think of light and dark. So basically high highlights and very dark shadows. So that's good for another video. This video will tackle basically contrast in colors. So when I was trying to learn painting miniature really seriously the past 6-7 months, I came about a blog where the blog interviewed John Margotta. He is at Blood, Blood as medium at Instagram and he was talking about contrast in colors. So he was able to like tell me when I was reading what I was thinking when I was like learning to paint miniatures and it was a very inspiring like blog article. I'm not saying that painting in monochromatic like mostly blue colors or mostly warm or cool colors in one miniature is bad because people like really talented people can pull it off but it's a nice guideline not really a rule because there's no rule in art to create contrast in colors in one miniature so if you're painting like here you could see i painted the cloak um, green and then the browns is warm so i'm kind of flip-flopping from warm skin to warm beard of course you can't flip-flop from cool skin and warm beard but the beard will stand out because we painted the cloth or the main wardrobe of the dwarf as green so when you combine complementary colors like red and green or orange and green is not complementary not directly complementary but it's like if you combine warm and cool colors you tend to make the finish of your model more vibrant so if you want to make the face and the beard stand out what I did was paint the wardrobe green. So if you combine them, there's an optical illusion that the orange later and the green are more vibrant than they are. So that's an optical illusion that we cannot really cheat. That's how people read colors. So that's a good practice, especially when you need something to pop out. As a side note, before we continue with the contrast talk, if you've noticed, I paint base colors darker than they are or darker than my desired base color. So this is actually kind of my method these days because if I paint them darker, it's easier to build upon this darker base color and then create nice volume with lighter colors. So basically painting darker base colors will let you build more volume and create more contrast later. Also I learned based from watching videos of Sergio Calvo that a good base color or as you could see here the base colors are like the longest to do for me because I was really careful to be really clean and the division between the elements are really nice and and sharp because after the base colors it will be easier to build up the volume with lighter colors and also you have a clean base already also you'll notice in my painting that i don't leave black like areas between a certain type of material like for example the beard i did not leave the crevices black or even the skin some 
expert or some painters would do that like the folds of the skin remain black and the folds of the cloth or the wardrobe will remain black i don't like it when i tried it because if you don't really want that fold or that crevice in the skin or that fold in the skin to be black and eventually you're gonna do glazing anyway so that it won't be totally black i'd rather paint it dark red already like for example the skin and then not be bothered with it if it's black as you could see i only leave black like divisions or lines in between cloth or in between elements like the boots and then there's a black line a very thin black line in between the boots and the pants a black line in between the the wardrobe and the beard and except for the beard and the skin because i tried it and it's weird so basically what i'm saying here is make sure that the base colors are nice and sharp the division between the elements are sharp and very smooth the painting is smooth and very clean so once you're finished with the base colors you could do whatever you want with the miniature that was a mistake that i kept on repeating in my previous projects i wanted to like really nice nmm already or really nice cloth or cloak already without like really being mindful of the base color so that's it basically make sure that the base colors are nice and clean also you'll notice in the video that i'm being very careful with the mixing of the skin tones because a lot of skin tones i mean you if you mix a lot of skin tones <laughs> you'll produce nice transitions without the need for glazing so basically mix a lot of paint so that you'll produce really nice and smooth skin as you could notice with our miniature it's flip-flopping between warm and cool colors but sometimes we're not doing that we're flip-flopping between light and dark color dark colors so as you can see the boots is warmer and then the pants is lighter and then you have the wardrobe which is green and then you have darker green at the back so that the very warm orange beard will pop out and then you have of course the gray staff as you could see also the emerald which is very cool is encased around a very warm gold necklace so by simply planning the placement of our colors we were able to make the miniature pop already even though we're not like putting highlights yet so basically the lesson here is to plan your colors so that everything will pop out also a quick lesson when painting beard orange beard i did not use yellow because in my previous dwarf beard painting which i haven't uploaded yet because i don't like the result so far the beard when you highlight it with yellows it will look like it's burning or it's flame so i learned that you should use pale orange you could use yellow i use ice yellow mixed with the orange and we produce a pale orange for the highlight so that will produce a more natural looking orange beard i haven't seen one in person but i think it looks better than highlighting with yellows because highlighting with yellows will make it look like it's flame also you'll notice in the video but not so much is that you could use white of course but i tend to mix paints with ice yellow or wolf gray because i like them to be not white because white tends to make the colors paler and kills the vibrancy of the paints i'm not saying you can't use white and black those are awesome for extreme highlights and very deep shadows but if you like to keep the vibrancy of the paint don't mix white with the color i you could see here i mix with ice yellow so that i come up with a really nice not so pale emerald because ice yellow is very warm so that's a tip that i could share with you that i think works really well so that's about it for this video i did not show you i did not record the painting of the gold parts and the other the highlights of the leather and stuff like that 
because I think there will be another model spell crow or not that would be perfect for perfect examples for those painting so for this one i hope you like the video i basically the staff is just flow colors flow green and flow yellow make sure you combine them because if it's just flow green it's kind of bland so i use flow yellow for like a more vibrant finish for the staff so I spent around 8 maybe 9 hours in painting this miniature so I'm really happy with the outcome. The bald head is really smooth and the contrast is just right. That's it we're done. I hope you liked the video. Do like, comment, subscribe and consider joining the channel so that you'll be part of our discord community. Saludos! Hi, I'm Don. Welcome to my channel. I'm an affiliate painter for Redgrass Games and also the head mecha and sci-fi painter for Vallejo Colors. I write painting articles for Fine Scale Modeler Magazine. I also write articles for Fantasy Figures International Magazine. Lastly, if you're into Gunpla, do use my discount code for usagundomstore.com. Links down below.